My dear friends, the year 2022 is coming to a close. And in that year, we have created a bunch of scrap fiber. And to end this year, I thought it was a great idea. I thought of it myself. To card up all, or at least most, of the scraps that I created in 2022 into some nice colorful bats and then make some sock yarn out of it because no one can ever have too much head knitted socks and especially in these dire times with the high gas and electricity prices so i really like to use very greasy lanoliny fleeces when i spin sock yarn we are going to make a base layer on my drum carter with a unwashed spotted sheep fleece and then add all these colorful odds and ends to it and make a crazy funky especially chaotic bat let's go <laughs> don't need no vm in my socks though Eh, let's add some yellow to it. Let's make some more. So we made six of these bats and made quite a dent in my scrap stash. You know what the next logical step is, right? Let's get spinning. I have realized this is quite a bit of fiber. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to spin it all within the framework of this video because, you know, deadlines and stuff, if I want you guys to be able to see this video on time. But we'll spin as much as we can. We'll spin a fine three ply, but then chain plied sock yarn, as said before. I have divided a bit of the bed already. I am quite interested to see how the colors will play out. So yeah, let's go. Maybe because this is the final video of this year, we should make it a little bit of a chatty video and talk about some stuff about last year. We saw the birth of this channel, Main Walden. For those that didn't know, uh, Main is not my name, nor is Walden. My name is Jente. Main Walden is Dutch for my Walden, which is like a play on my Walden. You know, Henry Thoreau. Or, well, more specifically for me, I never read a book, but I really like the song My Walden by Nightwish. And as they say in that song, weaving my wings from many colored yarns, flying higher, higher into the wild. I thought it was a really neat sentence. And that is how it initially 
inspired my Instagram name and well naturally also my YouTube name. I know it is a little bit confusing to you non-Dutch speaking audience, which is to be fair the biggest part of my audience. But there you go. My name is not main. <laughs> so yeah, the channel was born in 2022 on the 21st of June to be exact. This that means that this channel is now half a year old. And I don't know how much um, subscribers we will have when this video is published because I have the habit of recording my videos a couple of weeks before publishing them so I give myself some leeway to work on bigger projects. Right now we have 710 subscribers so I guess when this is published we will at least have 711 if you are the 711 shout out to you. <laughs> And those 710, that is absolutely crazy. I never thought it would go this fast. I had a couple of videos that went, as I explained before, not atomic bomb viral, but you put your bottle of champagne in the freezer too long viral. And those were really exhilarating, terrifying as well. Although I, I've come to learn how to live with my imposter syndrome regarding this channel. I just accept everything I do is beginner content and you seem to like beginner content, so yay! Yeah, I had this hope that maybe we would have 500 subscribers at the end of the year, but I never would have actually thought that I would make that, let alone that it would be over 700 already. But I love each and every one of you, all 711 or more! I really enjoy the interactions I have with you guys. There are a couple of you who, I mean, the video is, is not even published already, but you are already commenting on it. And I mean, you know who you are. I really enjoy interacting with you guys on, on that level and talking to you about what your spinning and fiber adventures are and, and what you think about the things I've done or maybe sometimes what I could have done better or what you would have done differently. It's really interesting. So yeah, 2022 maybe was a garbage year on quite a lot of levels, but for me personally, this was a success. I hope that the success of 2022 in regards to my channel transposes over 2023. That would be nice. <laughs> As to what fibers are in this wool, well, approximately everything that we have used before this year. The main fiber and chief lanolin supplier of this blend is Dutch Spotted Sheep. As I have said, then we will probably have a lot of Flemish sheep in there. I think all the really colorful bits, the yellow and the brown, they are Flemish sheep. There will also be some tesselaar in there, the grey and the white. There will be some of the mystery fiber that I used during Tour de Vlies, which could either be maybe a swifter or a Belgian milk sheep. I also noticed there was some dog fur left on my drum carter, so there's some dog fur in there, and probably also some alpaca and maybe some uwasan sheep as well. So it's an incredibly diverse blend. <laughs> I am curious as to how this will feel on my feet when it's eventually knit up into a sock. As for some plans for 2023, I don't have any exact plans. Well, you could say more spinning, more knitting, um, more weaving. I would like to learn some tablet weaving. I think that would be really interesting. Update my setup in the studio because the table isn't holding up anymore. I would love to do some more reconstruction projects, some historic knitting and spinning. I don't know how you feel about that. Is that something you enjoy? Let me know. And of course, I should spin a lot more with my spindles because <laughs> I have so many now. Is there something that you would like to see in 2023 or that you want to know in 2023? I mean, I'm open for all your suggestions. I really want to know them. I want to connect with you guys make content that you would enjoy watching. So yeah, feel free to um, 
to add some ideas in the comments, maybe not only on this video, but in the future if you watch a video of mine and you think, oh damn, this would be such a cool project, shoot! But not with an actual gun, please. Okay, we have filled up one bobbin, which was approximately a half to two thirds of one bat. So we've got this left over of the first bat. It's time for some plying. And I've said before, I'm going to chain ply this. Firstly, because Bernadette only has two bobbins, so it's the only way I can ply on her. Or well, a bracelet ply, but it's too much yarn to put on my finger without losing the ability to flip off the patriarchy. And secondly, because I want the colors to resemble a gradient more than a barber pole. Oh my god. <laughs> my Garmin watch just said I am. Um, I achieved my goal for steps for the day. Does spinning now officially count as walking? I mean, I think it's a sport, but um, I didn't think Garmin thought the same. No, I did not suddenly grow a moustache. This is our first cane finished. Maybe it is a little bit of a disappointing grey. I thought it would have more colors, but maybe it's like the last bat that I made when my yellow and brown were already... Uh, I was going to say empty, but that's not the word. Finished? So yeah, now let's see how many of these ones I can make within the span before my deadline. Let's continue spinning. I know it's only been a couple of weeks since I made a community post declaring my newfound love for Bernadette, my double drive spinning wheel. But our relationship hit a difficult point right now. The drive band just kept jumping off the world. And it was quite frustrating, I had to fudge around a little bit only to find out that the drive band actually had just unraveled itself and was notching the two parts of the H movement that it should make. And well, yeah, that was not, um, that was just not working, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Um, but yeah, then afterwards when I fixed the drive band I had to refine the right tension and I almost got another wheel to do this project. But when everything was sorted out, I could just lean back and continue spinning. Fourth skein. And um, they're actually all equally as grey, although the second bat that I have been using for skein 3 and 4 was a lot more colourful. But the white and the black are just too dominant and make the skeins very grey. Um, which, which kind of makes me think that I don't want to make them 
all into socks and maybe combine them into a bigger project like maybe a vintage sweater made with lace weight sock weight yarn? What do you think? If you have any pattern recommendations, comment section is free for you to use. Well friends, sadly I have to admit defeat. Apparently my powers are not strong enough to make 14 days last longer than they do and I was not able to spin up 6 bats in that time span. Got 3 hole left and there's just a little bit fluff fluff hanging on my spinning wheel right here. I have spun up 3, 4... <laughs> Eight skeins of this grey melange. In total it would be like 16 skeins. Maybe that is a bit much socks for one person. So I'll let you help decide what I'll do with these. I'll post a community poll uh, when this video goes live and you can help me decide whether I should just knit all the socks or combine the yarns and make something bigger. <laughs> for now I will just finish up spinning this last bit of fluff and then start editing this video because you want to have this video in a couple of days. I wish you a very merry happy end of this year. If you like these kind of fiber shenanigans then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. But that is all up to you and I will see you in 2023. Bye!